Well, here it is. We're going to test this bad boy out. I had a cold weather start problem. This uh, ECM on the Jeep was like 40 degree weather. Maybe even higher than that, it wouldn't start. So they said those capacitors, when they're cold, they won't start. And that's a sign of the ECM problem. So I basically laid a hair dryer right here, turned it on the mild setting where it wasn't too hot and burned nothing out in there. And just let a hair dryer run on those vents right there for about five minutes in that cooler weather because it would turn over and turn over and turn over and never fire up. The check engine light wouldn't come on and you wouldn't hear the fuel pump uh, turn on when you turn the key forward before you bumped it. But I put a hair dryer on it for about five minutes and it fired right up. So it told me it was the ECM. So I broke that thing out of there, took the board out and cut the gel out around those three capacitors and for twenty dollars I had three new capacitors. I replaced them with them with a little bit of soldering. Trial and error learning on the spot. Probably should have tried something else first, but it turned out alright. I put it in, uh put the silicone back in it and cover up the spots that I cut out after I put the new capacitors in it. And I brought it outside and plugged it all in and it started right up. But the deal was the ECM was in the house and it was already warm, so today after being in there, it's 28 degree weather. We're gonna see if this thing works. So I should get the check engine light and hear the fuel pump on key forward. There's my check engine light. And I just heard a fuel pump. Like I said, it's 28 degree weather and it should fire up if everything went well. It's cold, no trick to it. I didn't have this thing pre-warming to start it up and show, so. Zero degrees so far. It's at high, uh, high idle right now. It's cold weather. But, I solved the problem. It was my ECM, so if you're having the all crank no start when the weather's cold, put that hair dryer on that ECM for about five minutes and See if it'll fire up. If it does, that's your problem. You can either buy a rebuilt one, $200 or so, or take the time and maybe if you know how to solder, then get with it. Pull the three capacitors out. And that's it. Baby's running. It's time to go play.